the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we join you from South Philly. Close to 70,000 strong, packing Lincoln Financial Field, the home of the Eagles. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Or should I say Dean Olson? Because tight end you doesn't happen without you. And uh, we've got a great matchup here. We've got two of the best at your position in the current game right now. And Mike, when I came into the league, I mean, almost 20 years ago, there was a handful of really elite tight ends. But doesn't it just seem, especially over these last couple years, every single team at least the ones that make their mark and find themselves in the playoffs competing for Super Bowls have a legitimate number one threat at the tight end position it almost feels like if you don't have a tight end your offense is missing a key piece I know I'm biased but at tight end you man we, we make no mistake about it we think we are the most important position in football and you're not going to convince me otherwise and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop the Eagles let out by their quarterback and he is the leader of this offense Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him can make the big plays as well Greg here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL this is someone who just seems like every year they just get better and better Mike right I mean think back whether it was Alabama to Oklahoma to being a Heisman finalist going from a backup role to MVP candidate his development has been fun to watch. And now he's universally considered one of the best all-round quarterbacks in the league. And if they want to leave here with a win, they're going to need him to be just that. That's complete to his big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. And he'll be taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly and... There was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Hurts again. He'll get this complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Hurts and Brown connect, and it's a first down for Philly. They'll look to throw yet again. That's caught left side by Goddard. They'll come to the line now on second and two. So here is the former Giant. It's Saquon Barkley. And he'll take this one forward for about three. And that's a first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. Hurts looking to throw on first down. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. 
but the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Hurts working in the pistol. That's caught. Saquon Barkley. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Dallas Goddard, that time. And it'll be second down. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. The second down throw is incomplete. Goes without saying, Mike, you have to be smart with the ball, especially down here in the red zone. You're already in scoring position. And I understand they're trying to come away with a touchdown, but at the very least, come away with three. Worst case scenario is you turn the ball over and you come away with nothing. On third down, here's Hurts. He's got it at the seven. And he will get into the end zone. Harris, Campbell, touchdown, Eagle. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Here's Jake Elliott for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Eagles will take a 7-0 lead. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Pene Wanwu now to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line. Here's the Minnesota offense taking the field for the first time. They're led out by the number three overall pick back in the 2018 draft out of USC. It's Sam Darnold. I think it's fair to say that the trajectory of his career hasn't gone exactly according to plan. But you don't get drafted as the third overall pick unless you have a ridiculous amount of talent. He's bounced around a few places throughout his career. He's had some ups and downs. But when he's on his game, he is as talented a thrower as there is in the NFL. And an impressive outing today could go a long way in making him back a full-time starter. That's caught by Jones out of the backfield. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Every offensive coordinator has drive starters, meaning it's a completion. It's a run play that we feel great about. It's a screen. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. And this defense having nothing of that, they get them down behind the line. Here's a third down and four. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. Ah, but he'll gather it back in. Oh, man, Greg, those must be scary times for a player. Not that it happened to you often, but he lost the ball but was able to get it back and avoid the turnover. 
Well, Mike, I hate to admit it, but unfortunately, I was in that situation <laughs> a few times. And I'll tell you what, when that ball pops out of your hand, the only thing on your mind is, is there anything I can do to get it back? In this case, he was able to get it back, and he dodged it. And he does a nice job to avoid the initial wave. They're going to get him down behind the line. Well, Mike, the other day we heard how the offensive coordinator wanted to start fast offensively. But here so far, it's been the pass rush in the defense who's gotten out to the quick start. Here's a second and 12. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. He'll get this complete to Trent Sherfield. He'll get about six before he's taken down. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast and tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. Even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. The Eagles offense ready to get going with their second possession. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. to start the drive and not much there he's back to the original line no gain on that one great job by that linebacker timing his blitz he didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming and he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss they'll try again here second and ten. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it he's got the hookup to cj uzama and he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. They run out of the gun with Barkley. And this is going to be an Eagles first down. He's able to take it up to the 30-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. On play action, Hurts. He's going to keep it himself. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards and, most importantly, a first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. And he can hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Now he'll run. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards and, most importantly, a first down. Uh, 
So after one, it's the Eagles with the early advantage. And we're back in Philly in a moment. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. They'll fake the give. Now it's Hurts. And it's over the middle and caught by Smith. And they bring him down inside the 25 yard line. 19 more on that one. And another first down. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Off he goes. And he's going to go into the end zone on an electrifying run. Jalen Hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. That one is going to hurt the defense. He's looking to throw, can't find anyone, takes off, and Greggy takes it the distance for an exciting touchdown run. And these are the plays, Mike, that just drive defensive coordinators crazy. You have all of his targets covered up, nowhere to go with the ball, and next thing you know, he gets out of the pocket, takes it all the way with his legs. He's just as dangerous with those feet as he is with his arm. Here's Elliott for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Eagles move out on top, 14 to nothing. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Ty Chandler now to bring it back. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Vikings offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0. The score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. They send him right out of the slot. Right away, they'll try a jet sweep. They'll take this forward for about five. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. And he's going to have to eat this one, and down he goes. Early in this drive, they're trying to establish some offensive rhythm, but now after that second down sack, really puts them in a must pass. You don't want to be in third and long very often in the NFL. It's not a very high percentage conversion rate, and with the danger of a three and out, they better hold up here in pass protection. Third and long. Darnold now to throw. Deep ball downfield for Sherfield. And barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down, it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out. Not able to pick up a single first down. Not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails 
as you find yourself jogging off the field and the puck team coming out. A fair catch called and taken right at the 30-yard line. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. Their lead sits at 14-0 here in this second quarter. Looking to run away with this one before halftime. Set to go now on first and 10. He'll start on the ground with Barkley. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. Hertz will work here from the pistol. He's going to tuck it and go. These are the plays that just drive the defensive coordinator crazy, Mike. You do everything right, but you don't account for the quarterback scrambling. He's able to get out of the pocket and gain enough for a first down. They're out of the gun. They give it to Barkley. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. From the shotgun, it hurts. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. On third down, it hurts. <laughs> Complete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. And now it's fourth down. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback. And will come out to the 20-yard line. Out comes the Minnesota offensive unit as they get set to take over. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Man who traded green and gold for Viking purple. It's Aaron Jones. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Running back looked a little unsure of himself on that carry there, Mike. You have to think back to that fumble earlier in the game. How much is that still weighing on his mind? He didn't really seem to attack that hole like we've seen in the past. He gets stopped for no game. Got a man. That's Sherfield. Sure He'll get about six before he's taken down. And short yardage, and here's Darnold. That's taken in. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. And he's going to be knocked down before he can even think about returning that one. Whoa! 
The Eagles offense ready to get back at it. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and ten. shotgun snap now to Hurts to the outside catch made by Brown love to start any drive like that 18 on the first play and a first down every once in a while it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here the quarterback just dumps the ball down a quick underneath completion and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. On first down, it's Hurts. This one complete to Campbell. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. Again, Hurts. That's complete to his running back, Kenneth Gainwell. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. They'll work now on second and four. Hurts again. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. Third and short, and Hurts will throw. Oh, he's got this one complete to Goddard. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. Halftime is looming, but a chance to build on that already sizable lead right here. First and goal. A pistol snap back to Hertz. That one, take it in. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Eagles. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, Every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. 
Chandler now to return it. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Vikings offense headed back to take over once more. They find themselves down three touchdowns here, needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. To throw is Darnold. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. On third down, here's Jones. A game there of 11. First down, Minnesota. We've seen third down really turn into a pass-happy down throughout the league, and I think this is an example of the play caller kind of using that to his advantage. Keep the defense off guard, keeps the ball on the ground, extend this possession. So they come to the line for first down and 10. That's caught downfield by Jefferson. And he will score. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings. On now for the extra point. Here's Will Riker. He's got it. And the Vikings get back in it. It is 21 to 7. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Harris Campbell now on the return and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line that's A.J. Brown and the rest of the Eagles offense set to take over once more they'll begin with first and ten Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. And he's got it to the 35-yard line. So the Eagles will use their first time out here. And they'll stop it just over a minute remaining in this first half. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards, and most importantly, a first down. The defense is going to have to come up with a plan for this quarterback using his legs, Mike, or it's going to be a long day. 
They knew coming in he was a threat. But I'm not sure they thought he would be this effective this early. And that is brought in. Wow, out of bounds. Inside the 10. It's first and goal. A huge play just before the half. It's a gain of 43 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Well, here's the chance to cap off a great half. They have it first and goal. Now it's Hurts. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbound. From the one, second and goal. They'll run with Barkley. Trying to find a crease in there. It's a big pile of bodies. But he is going to come up short. The thing that stands out to me about this defense, Mike, is they just make you earn everything. They don't concede any downs. You see it here on this last play. Great job here. No gain. Force third down. Now the Eagles will use the last of their timeouts. Here's Jake Elliott now to try the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Elliott's kick is good. And the Eagles can tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well, you're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it up. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. Darnold. That one caught by the former Lion, T.J. Hawkinson. And he's going to be out of bounds. Triple zeros up there on the clock. We have reached the end of the first half. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. We just watched a fine first half out of the mobile quarterback. That's Jalen Hurts. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And he'll bring it out to the 22-yard line. That's where the offense will take the field. The Vikings offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10.
The drive begins with a carry by Jones. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 16, and very quickly, a first down. Finding yourself down here multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. toss here with Jones and this rough day on the ground continues they're going to drop him behind the line again I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut Mike you can see he was a little hesitant and once you're late making that decision you just kind of get strong laterally great job there by the defense and he has no choice but to take that loss throwing on third down is Darnold They'll set up the screen with Hawkinson you try to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. Defense strong up front. And they're going to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. It'll be a punt coming up for the Vikings. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Oh, hello! He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. Here's first and ten. Now Barkley. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. Now it's going to be third down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. He'll try and get there on the ground. You can't beat a running quarterback. Gain a 16 and a first down. These are the plays that are just crushing for a defense. Here you are. You think you're about to make a big stop, force fourth down, and get the football back. But instead, you let the quarterback get loose. He picks up the first down with his legs. And now you got to defend a fresh set of downs. A first down throw for Hurts. And that time, the pressure too much. He'll go down. You can tell the quarterback has built a lot of confidence in his ability to make plays today with his feet. The defense has had a hard time keeping him in check. And this time, much better job in pursuit. Even though he was able to get outside the pocket, they were able to chase him down and bring him down for a sack. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Here's Hurts. That's a short one. Caught by Goddard. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down.
Hurts working in the pistol. That one caught by Smith. A gain of 16 on that pass play. Good for an Eagles first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both... Kevin O'Connell made the decision, and he will throw the red challenge flag. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around. He has control, so that's what the referee is looking at here. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver... So the challenge there, unsuccessful, and it will remain a completed pass. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Hertz going to hold on to this one. He's going nowhere. Going to lose yardage on that play. Oftentimes, the more success you have as a quarterback keeping the ball, the more attention that you're going to get from the defense. And I think that's exactly the case here. They've been burned a few times by this guy already today, but this time they were ready for him. I'll run up the middle with Barkley. And this is going to make the play caller happy. Good run. Eight yards. Much more manageable third down coming up. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. On third down, here's Hurts. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They got it inside the 15. That's two catches on this drive. This one for 23 yards. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. On the handoff, this is Barkley. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Hurts to throw. That one is caught by Campbell. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense. And they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump. And... They were able to stop that play really before it got started. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. And back to work goes Elliott after making the field goal. He'll send this one away. On the return, here comes Juan Wu. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense make their way out to take over once more. 
They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. with Jones to begin this drive. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. Again, it's Jones. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Third and six. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. And this ball incomplete on third down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. It'll be a punt coming from the Vikings. As he's on for the fifth time this afternoon. Back deep for the Eagles, Britton Covey. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. First and ten. On the ground, it's Barkley to start the drive. And a good run there. Gonna get him five yards. So we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come up here on second down and five. They'll run. It's Barkley. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Just a little too much east and west there for my liking. I understand what they're trying to do, getting the ball out on the perimeter, but on these early downs, plant your foot and get downhill. Great job by the defense stringing it out, and they're able to force him down for a loss. On third down, they'll go with Saquon. A gain there of 10 yards. First down, Philadelphia. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. They'll stay on the ground with Barkley. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Once again, it's Barkley. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down.
He'll try to run here with Barkley. First down and more. He's inside the 35. Oh, what a run. Down inside the 30-yard line. They get an even 20 on that one. First down, Philadelphia. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Hurts now. A short throw taken in by Goddard. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. Give them 12 on that one. They are on the march. Another first down. Every defense in the league, Mike, they stress the importance of defending the middle of the field. It's the most valuable real estate in football. And in this case, that's just too much room to operate. They have to find a way to close and cloudy up those windows, make the quarterback throw the ball to the sidelines. When you allow him to operate in there, especially with that much space, you're going to make for a long day. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, you've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are counting on. Frankly, that's what this entire stadium is counting on. The best guys I've been around, Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. And they'll throw here with Hurts. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Jalen Hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And that touchdown probably, Greg, ends any small hopes of a comeback on the other side. Yeah, and I think those chances, Mike, were small to begin with. But with that last score, I think this one is pretty much over. Elliott on now for the PAT. It's up. And good. And the Eagles will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Wan Wu. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The visitor's offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Now, Darnold. That's to the outside, and he's got Jefferson. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Second and a yard. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. This play is actually really well defended here, but I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open, and this just supports my case. Darnold to throw on first down. 
He'll get this over the middle to Jefferson. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. He had their lone touchdown of the game earlier, and he comes through with the catch and a first down in this spot. gun they give it to Jones he's able to get away from one man but those reinforcements they got there quick take him down behind the line just feels like this has been the story of the day for this offense just unable to get anything going on the ground and a big reason they find themselves trailing and another loss of yards so they go backwards on first down here's second and 13 from the shotgun here's Darnold great shape he's taken down inside the 10 a gain of 26 and it sets up first and goal well they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field I mean you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone from six yards out it's first and goal here's Darnold He's got it at the three. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard? Now, for him individually, not ideal. But right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone, and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. To throw is Darnold to the end zone there, but it is incomplete. The intended receiver was Justin Jefferson. And now, third and goal coming up. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do. And, man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. And he will do it himself. He's in. Sam Darnold. Touchdown, Minnesota. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Well, it's not going to be enough, but at least they find the end zone at the end of a hard week's work. At least a little payoff with a touchdown, Greg. Mike, you can just chalk this one up in the column of too little, too late. Give credit to this offense for not going down without a fight, but they're not going to have enough time to find themselves back in this one. Will Reichard now on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Vikings are able to edge a bit closer. So the late score gets them a bit closer to respectability. They'll try to get even closer with an outside kick. You have no choice. You find yourself down big here late in the fourth quarter, Mike. You got nothing to lose. Give it a shot. Nice job here by the hands team recovering. And they're going to take over possession. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball. And you thought, maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But... So far, that has proven to not be the case. Running from the pistol with Barkley. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. So two minutes left to play in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off. After this, they'll come up on a second down and eight. 
They'll run straight ahead with Barkley. And they'll take this down inside the 35. It's a gain of 10 yards. First down, Philadelphia. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. Here's a handoff to Barkley. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. run with Barkley and he will have the first down not a huge run but enough to move the chains this offense they're not interested in taking the deep shot here second and short the way they're running the ball pound the rock reset the downs and just keep the drive alive So it's a win here for the Eagles. They use a little home cooking here. They play a complete football game. They send their fans home quite happy. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson. Our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Eagles are winners, as we say, so long from South Philly.